Hello, howdy. My name is Andrea Carroll and I was involved with extending the link from the fall of 2007 until the spring of 2009. And I helped with the pilot project, which was called Somos de Cafe and featured fair trade coffee in Guatemala. And then Del Micro al Cambio, which featured micro lending in Chile. I extended the link. My name is Adam Brennison. Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Mullen. I was on the UTL team 2012 to 2014. So I was on the Cooler team and the Gurkler team. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Trey Pham and I'm reporting live to you from the Berlin Wall and um, I was in ETL three or four years ago and my first movie with the team was Pragati Nepal and I was the campus representative and then um, I co-produced the documentary film on Bosnia and Herzegovina with Katie Thompson. My name is Andy Wurzeka. What years were you a member of the team? I was on the team in 2013 and 2014. Hi everybody, I'm Katie Thompson and I am, uh, I was a member of two teams. I was on the 2011 Pragati Nepal team as a researcher and I was on the um, 2012 Abnova team as a co-director. I'm Maggie Smith. Hi everyone, my name is Nate Tachek. I was a member of Extending the Link before it was Extending the Link, uh, working on the film Somos de Cafe in 2008. I was first involved in ETL as an intern for the Obnova project. I was a part of ETL my senior year, um, 2013. Extending the Link has given me the cultural intelligence to come at global problems or global issues or global opportunities with a different shed of light, with a different understanding that the world is not an equal or level playing field. Uh, ETL's had a huge impact on my life, specifically because I work in video production and I do videography as a full-time job now. So, of course, back when I was in school, um, that huge experience of working on a big, large-scale, big-budget project um, over a long period of time that had a lot of like pre-production planning and just a lot of thought and organization that went into it um, was a huge thing that I was able to show my current employer. Since 2012, I... Uh started working for a serial entrepreneur in Minneapolis on a uh, startup but uh, earlier this year I decided to resign and uh, decided to travel with one of the other ETLers, Hannah Mortensen. We uh, took a two-month trip to the South Pacific in Asia and when I got back to the US I couldn't stop traveling so I flew to Europe and now is traveling Europe uh, currently in Germany. Extending the link has really influenced me since graduating from St. John's in 2008. Uh, it really it shaped, it's shaped my career honestly. I work now as a video editor for the outdoor company Patagonia and also do quite a bit of freelance work in my own time um, since graduating from CSB and XJU, I've completed my two years of Teach for America and I continue teaching and now I'm my fourth year teaching high school French at um, Huffman High School in Birmingham City in Alabama. After graduation, I moved to Washington, D.C. and worked for a nonprofit focused on education reform um, and successfully installed a new principal at one of the elementary schools there, which was pretty cool. Um, and then I moved to Malaysia for 11 months and completed a Fulbright grant there. Well, currently I'm in grad school at Montana State University for filmmaking. Um, I'm in their science and natural history documentary film program. I am in my final year, my thesis year. Most recently, my film Paddle to DC highlighted the 2,000 mile, 101 day journey by Minnesota guides Amy and Dave Freeman to uh, bring awareness and uh, call on our decision makers in Washington to stop the proposed uh, twin metal sulfide ore copper mine uh, in the watershed of the Boundary Waters. And uh, my film that I, I traveled with them for the first 400 miles of the trip, uh, making a film about it. And uh, after releasing that, we, we experienced huge growth in the campaign, huge social media followership, huge fundraising, and, uh, and some great lobbying opportunities in Washington. And now uh, there's a, currently a bill in Congress uh, to propose to stop these mines. So uh, the power of film is, is definitely something that, you know, I 
hadn't realized until I had the opportunity through extending the link. My hope for ETL in the future is never, never be safe. Um, always expanding, always reaching for the next height. I guess my hopes for uh, your team and any team in the future would be the same hope that I had for myself and the team that I was on. It's just that. Um, that you'll be able to find uh, a story, an undertold story, bring it back and share it with your community here, that you'll be able to learn something new about the world and be able to take that experience and share it with others just so that um, all the work kind of pays off and that you can show people um, something about this world, about people that they didn't know before. I also hope you guys take chances, kind of like the first ETL team. They weren't really sure of the logistics of traveling to a different country and making a film, but they did it anyways. I hope future ETL teams make our past documentaries look absolutely awful. I hope they continue to grow and expand, explore new topics, delve into new ways of filmmaking, and continue to push the boundaries on what ETL is capable of. My hopes for the future for extending the link is I just would love to see everyone involved continue to make really great films and to learn and to realize the power of film for, for storytelling and these really important stories. One thing I wish for future ETL members is make the project your own. Make the project your own, embody it, take it in, understand what it means for you, and keep trying to make the world a better place.